Uh, this is in Sahih al-Muslim, uh, where it says that the reciters of Basra used to recite large sections of the Qur'an, but they forgot sections, out of which they remembered only this part. And they would recite portions of, out of large sections they had forgotten. Those are not found in the Qur'an today. Now some people argue those have been abrogated. It doesn't work. For those of you who know the law of abrogation, this does not fit one of the three types of abrogation. It doesn't work. It's simply lost. So you have the early Muslims arguing over these things, you have records saying portions are lost. You cannot, once again, objectively conclude that the Qur'an has been perfectly preserved. Again, you can defend it. As a defensive position, sure, defend it all you want. And I'm not up here arguing that the theology has been changed. I'm not arguing that. I think the early Muslims did an excellent job of preserving their theology. I'm just talking about the verbatim preservation of the Qur'an. There's no good reason to believe that once you look at the earliest sources, unless you're coming at it from a defensive angle. So the question is, is there evidence that Jesus rose from the dead? Again, if some people want to ask questions about this or if it wants to come up in the Q&A, then we can discuss it a little bit more. But as I investigated the evidence surrounding Jesus' death, I came to the conclusion that the evidence pointed uniformly to the fact that Jesus rose from the dead. Now there's something very profound in that because as a Muslim, the Quran doesn't even let you believe that Jesus died on the cross. Quran says in Surah An-Nisa, just chapter 4, verse 157, He was not killed, nor was he crucified, but so it appeared to them. So the Quran denies that Jesus was killed by crucifixion. In the Hadith, as we read them, um, Abu Bakr, who is the first Khalifa, according to Sunnis, he's the next successor after Muhammad. He said, I would fear the deception of Allah even if I had one foot in heaven. In other words, he's stepping into heaven. Allah could yank him out and throw him into hell. Um, and this is something that Muslims generally grapple with. Now, our new culture coming up, like my sister, she thinks, no, my salvation is assured. But that's not been traditional Islam. Um, people are always worried about whether or not they're saved.